Hey, hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel, Stevie here. In today's video, we're going to be going over the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation, which has been my holy grail foundation for at least the last three years. Ever since I first used this foundation, I absolutely loved it. If you are a full coverage girly, you're going to be excited because if you haven't tried it, you have to because it literally covers up everything on your face, but it does not look cakey. The only thing is, is that when your skin is dry, that this foundation can look very dry on the skin. I will be very honest about that. So in order to use it and have it look good, your skin must be well hydrated. But thankfully, we have some great products and I'm going to be teaching you guys in future videos how I prep my skin for makeup. The only thing is, is that now that I'm using tretinoin, sometimes I can't help it that my skin's dry because it does cause your skin to peel at a fast rate. So um, on my tretinoin weeks, I do have a harder time with just any foundation or makeup in general, but it's going to be totally worth it. And I will do an entire video for you guys in the near future on tretinoin, but that's another video for another day. So this is the Estee Lauder Stay in Place Double Wear Foundation, and I do wear it in the shade 1W2 Sand. This is a little more yellow. Um, it's a little darker than my skin, but I do prefer my makeup that way because I am very pale and I'm actually cool toned, but I have yellow undertones in my skin. And when I wear cool toned makeup, it makes me look like I'm the living dead. And so I prefer to have a little bit warmer hair and makeup and it goes along with my green eyes. And I do have like the gold around my eyes. So I feel like it brings that out as well. So I prefer to look warmer. Um, sometimes I do look a little too yellow because I'm very pale, but I would rather have that than look like a ghost or a porcelain doll. So that is what I choose to do with my makeup. Um, there's, there is an amazing shade range in all of this foundation, so I do highly recommend that you guys try it if you're looking for a very full coverage foundation. I did already wash my face. I have all my moisturizer as well as my sunscreen on. And I will do a whole video for you guys on my AM skincare routine, which is the one that I do before I put my makeup on. But I'm going to talk about another one of my favorite Holy Grail products, which I'll probably do an entire video on one of these days for you. And I'm, I always use this primer before I use my foundation. And I swear this has been a game changer in my skin because my makeup routine is so much better and my foundation looks so much better when I use this. This is so expensive. It's almost $60. I don't remember the exact price. I think it's $58. But this is the Airbrush Vanish um primer by Hourglass and I absolutely love this primer. It is completely worth the money especially when you start getting a little older and your uh, skin starts getting more texture to it like mine is unfortunately and this does like really make your makeup look like it's airbrushed on your face. So we're going to get some of this on and then we're going to get into putting on the foundation, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. So I do because this is expensive I do just use the tiniest amount but I swear this just makes my skin like so smooth and my makeup application so beautiful. I absolutely love it. I do put it around my eyes as well. I literally put this everywhere on my face because I want the most smooth, beautiful makeup application that I can possibly have. And what I noticed with this is that it really fills in like all of my pores and even some of my fine lines and it really just makes my makeup sit really nicely on the skin. I have tried so many primers and this is honestly the only one that I've ever been happy with of how my foundation looks once I set it on my face. Since my skin's become textured, my hopes is that my tretinoin after I can start using it more often because I've had some issues. But again, I'll talk about that in a later video with you guys. Start smoothing out and my texture starts going away. And then maybe I can start trying some of the other foundations that I really would like to try that aren't such full coverage. But for now, this is my holy grail and I'm always kind of scared to try anything else. I've actually tried a few other foundations um, like the um, Idol Foundation by Dior and I was not impressed with that one at all. I've gotten two different bottles of it and I hated it. Um, I think the Fenty Beauty one I tried but I don't think it was in the right shade so that one I'd be willing to try again. Another one I really want to try is the Haas Labs Foundation. But for now, this is going to be my holy grail. So that's just what I do with my primer. I just put it all over just to make sure that I can really fill anything in and then I do use the Real Techniques Beauty Blender sponges. These are my favorite. I actually don't like the Real Beauty Blenders from Ulta and these are much much um, more cost effective. They're like $8.98 for two of them and these are my favorite makeup sponges. I do get these wet. Um, I do warm them, get them wet with warm water and then this is what I use for my application. 
I am going to go ahead and put my my mermaid headband on. I love these headbands, guys. I'll do a video that I talk about this too, probably when I do my skincare routines for you. So then I take the foundation and this is how I apply my foundation. You don't have to do it this way, but this is just what I do for my own routine. And I put a little bit on the back of my hand because then I can make sure I usually do about that much. This is usually enough for my face to cover it, but sometimes not. So it just kind of depends. And I do have like a makeup mirror next to me that I'm going to use because I am going out today and I don't want to look goofy when we go out. So I'm going to be kind of like looking away. But I literally just put a little bit of this on and I just kind of pat it into my skin. And this is what gives it that like airbrush effect. I don't know if you guys can see, but I do have some hyperpigmentation spots and some scarring as well. And you can see like the redness is going away. Like this literally just goes on so nicely and it just covers up everything. I love this foundation. It is my absolute favorite. I feel like no matter what, like I'm never disappointed unless my skin's really dry, which usually that's just my own fault because I'm not using the right products or again, because of my tretinoin. So other than that, I really have no complaints about this foundation. For a while, it was looking really horrible on my skin, but I was going through a lot of hormonal issues and I was not using the proper things I don't think for my face and I was overly drying out my skin. And um, that is why I switched from using acne products because my skin is more mature now because I am almost 40. So I switched from using all of the drying like salicylic acids and stuff to using a moisturizing cleanser and to using way better moisturizers. And since I did that and I really started prepping my face a lot better and then using the Hourglass Primer, it's been a huge game changer in how my makeup comes out. And I'm really, really happy with it. Very, very happy with it. So that's just my my little two cents there for what I like. Um, and I am just going to kind of check my face. Also, guys, in whatever makeup videos I do, please just ignore my eyebrows because I really want to get them microbladed soon. But in order to do that, I feel like I need to start thickening them up and growing them back out. So I am working on growing out my eyebrows and... They're going to look scary for a while, but I'm going to keep up on them and I'm going to actually try to do it this time. I've actually tried to grow them out like, I don't know, four times in like the last year. And I always just like get frustrated and I'm like, I hate the way they look and I start plucking them and then I just give up. So um, in order for me to get my eyebrows microbladed and really have them look the way that I want them to, I need them to be thicker. So I am trying some different things to get them to grow faster and I just really hope that they look good. All right, guys, and you literally seen, like, how quick and fast that was. I don't even think it took me, like, two minutes to, like, really cover up everything on my face. Like, I absolutely love this foundation. I think it looks great, and I think my skin looks pretty flawless for the most part. My eyebrow lines, like, I'm sorry, my forehead lines, like, my makeup settles in, but it's okay. And that's just because my tretinoin is not starting to undo those things yet because I haven't been using it long enough, but eventually those will hopefully diminish and go away somewhat too. So then I won't have that problem no more. And now I also use in conjunction with this, and it's actually funny because I actually love this concealer and it goes with the makeup. I do use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer. And I do wear this in the shade 1W, which is light warm. And I love this concealer. It covers up great under my eyes and it does brighten my under eye area as well. I just dab this on. I love it, I love it, I love it. And it is the companion concealer, so it's perfect. I can't remember, I don't remember how much this is either, but I'll post everything in the links below and I'll also have it up on the video when I go back through and I edit it. But I wanna say this is like 36, but don't quote me on that. I remember right I should know because I order them all the time but you're just kind of like on my like auto orders on alta.com so I will post everything below and you guys will be able to order it um so what are you guys thoughts like do you think the coverage looks good are you gonna go try it yourselves when I'm all finished like what do you guys think do you like full coverage makeup do you like lighter makeup I really like this because even though it's full coverage, it's not cakey. Like I've used so many foundations that either say they're full coverage and they're not and you like can't build them up. And that's really frustrating too when you think it's a full coverage and that's what you're looking for. 
and then you get it and it's like oh it's buildable coverage and then you try to build it up and it just like keeps sliding off your skin or like where you have scarring it's like it doesn't set you know like it doesn't dry on your face and that drives me nuts because then I keep putting more and more on it and then it just is like sliding off so say I have like a bad breakout spot or I even have a breakout spot that's like scabbed over or even one that just like the skin's peeled off on you know so it's like that new like fresh pink skin underneath and no matter what I do I keep putting more and more like foundation on it or even concealer over it and it's like it's not drying so it just keeps sliding off my face so then I just have one spot that has no makeup on it or one spot that just looks all cakey and I don't know that drives me absolutely crazy so that's what I found with this foundation and concealer is that it doesn't do that and that it does a great job of covering everything up and looking very skin like like I don't feel like this looks too makeupy at all and I don't want to look like I have, you know, like a pound of cake makeup on. So it's not the look I'm going for. I actually really prefer the clean girl makeup look for the most part these days. Like I don't do my makeup as heavy as I used to. Because my honey actually doesn't like it when I wear a bunch of makeup. He just likes it when I'm like natural and at home. Which is fine. But I'm a makeup guru. So I love makeup and I do it anyways. But I do do it a lot lighter than I used to back in the day. I used to wear a lot of eyeliner and a lot of blush and a lot of everything. Eyeshadow, you name it. I was always full glam. I do miss those days and I do still do that sometimes. But for the most part, like I just do basic makeup. So that is all set and finished. And I'm so excited. Um, I am going to set under my eyes before they dry too much because I don't want it to get cakey and to build up. Sorry guys, I'm in my makeup bag right now. I don't want it to get too cakey and like build up. I'm looking for my brush. And I am going to set it with my other Holy Grail product, which is my Laura Mercier Under Eye Brightening Powder. I've talked about this before. I love this powder. It's like my absolute favorite. I do order it every time that I run out of it. Um, and it does last me for a really long time. So I don't order it more than probably once a year. But I do use this all the time. I love the way it sets my under eye. And I love how it just slightly brightens it it doesn't make it too bright and I actually think that it just looks great for me since I do have the dark circles under my eyes and I do have like kind of like even though I think it's getting better from the tretinoin I do have like an orange like cast that goes around my eyes I don't know what it's from I think it might be a vitamin deficiency um but I'm healing and fixing that right now too which might be why it's appearing brighter as well so we shall see we shall see so guys, let me know in the comments below, like, are you going to try any of the things that I've listed today and talked about? What are your concerns with your makeup that I can do videos about? Like, do you guys have any products you would like me to review? Please let me know in the comments below because I really would love to hear what you guys have to say. And of course, I'll take all your suggestions to heart. And I always appreciate the video recommendations because it does help me with my channel and it helps me provide you guys with what you want to see as well. So... And plus it helps me get new makeup and try new makeup products, which is what I love to do. So I'm super excited about that. I'm not going to make you guys sit here with me because this is not a get ready with me video. I will do one of those in the future, but I just wanted to talk to you, to, to you all today about the Double Wear Foundation. I do love this foundation. It's so beautiful. Um, and I just wanted to tell you guys how fantastic it was. And if you're looking for a full coverage foundation, I highly recommend that you go check out the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation. And like I said, I will have everything listed in the comments below. Um, oh, one last thing. I totally forgot. You guys can probably see that my room is now purple. I did paint it last week. And then the week previous why I didn't do video is because I was really sick, unfortunately. But I did paint my room purple because I was sick of the other color and it didn't feel like my space. And since this is my vlogging room and my recording room, I'm really trying to make it like my own. So we did paint it Barbie Dream House purple. If you go on backdrop.com, and I, this isn't sponsored in any way, but they have awesome Barbie colors. They have a pink, a turquoise, and then this purple. I will list that down below as well so you guys can check that out if you love Barbie like I do and you want to see any of those awesome room colors um, so you can get a swatch and then go get the color made or even order from Backdrop. So that is my suggestion for that. If you guys are looking for a new fun room color, definitely get on Backdrop. They have lots of amazing colors for your home and your space. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Love you. Bye.